This new Printify update is going to change the game. Ever since I started Print On Demand three years ago, I have been waiting and asking for this ever since. And it is finally here. To fulfill this, I have had to use Printful, which honestly is not my favorite print provider. And I like to just keep everything all together. So I always said when Printify introduces this, I'm gonna be moving all of my products from Printful over to Printify. And that is embroidered products, specifically sweatshirt embroidery for me because sweatshirts are my best seller. And the other day when I went to go add a sweatshirt to my store, I noticed this new toggle here between DT printing or embroidery printing. So in today's video, we're going to cover everything embroidery. Why should you offer embroidery? What type of designs work for embroidery? We're going to do some research and create embroidered designs ourselves. And how do you make mock-ups for embroidered products? Well, don't worry. We're going to be talking about that all today. So why should you offer embroidery? If you come on over to Etsy and you just look up sweatshirts on Etsy, and then you use a research tool. I like to use Everbee and you go to product analytics, and I'm going to sort all the sweatshirts and I'm going to sort them by monthly sales. And if you start going through the monthly sales, you're going to see a lot of the best selling sweatshirts, not all of them, but quite a bit of them are embroidered. So if we come to this one here, you'll see ones like this, which have sold over 12,000 times and sell over 880 times a month. This one is a hoodie, but I did want to show you the power of embroidery. This one has sold 96 times in the last 24 hours. It is listed just eight months ago and has sold over 9,000 times, selling over a thousand times a month. We have this one here, which has sold 58 times in the last 24 hours with over 11,000 sales. We have this other Etsy pick one here, which is sold over 11,000 times and is a custom embroidered sweatshirt. And one of the best parts about embroidery, and you might've noticed while going through these listings is that embroidered designs are usually extremely simple. They're usually text-based with really thick fonts with one color. Sometimes you'll see more than one color, but a lot of the best sellers just use one thread color. And a lot of the best sellers also offer some type of customization. While with embroidery, this is absolutely not necessary. I've seen so many best selling embroidered products. I have best selling embroidered products that do not offer any customization, but it is an extra value add if you want to consider adding that to your embroidered designs. The only downside right now is because this is absolutely brand new to sweatshirts on Printify. The only option right now is to print on the left chest. The most popular spots I see are on the center chest and the left chest. So we're missing the center chest right now, but I expect that to be added in soon. Again, this was just added this week. And don't worry, there are tons of best sellers that offer the embroidery on the left chest. Many designs that look good when you are DTG printing are not going to appear the same when using embroidery. Embroidered products have their own set of guidelines that you need to follow to ensure that you get a good print. And this is a mistake I see so many people make when they're first starting embroidery. They try to create these complicated designs because just creating a simple design and using that doesn't feel right sometimes. I get that where I just create a line of text and upload it and it doesn't seem like it'll sell. But with embroidery, that is what sells. So for your designs, make sure that you're using solid shapes and colors. You are using only up to 14 different colors and you can't just pick any color. There are only 14 colors that you can pick from. Hence why most people who do embroidery only use one color, maybe two, but I think all of my designs are just one color thread only. You need to use high quality prints. That doesn't really change from DTG either. You need to simplify the design as much as possible. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you have a difficult design and you want to simplify it, don't worry, we're going to go over that. And if you're using text for your design, we recommend choosing thicker font styles. So you don't want to go with super thin fonts that are only going to use one line of thread. It's not going to appear well. It's going to fall apart quite a bit. So the thicker, the simpler, the design, the better. Another thing to keep in mind when you are creating embroidery is the printers need to do what is called digitization, which means turning your design into your embroidered file. And most places do charge you for this. Printful charges for this. Anyone else that offers embroidery does charge for digitization. Luckily, if you do it through Printify up until 
2025, this digitization is free. But even if it is paid, you only pay for digitization the first time you make an order. And then after that, if someone makes the same order with the same product or the same print provider, they can reuse the same digitization fee. So you're just gonna be paying a little bit more on the first order after 2025. One of my favorite way to create embroidered designs that do well is a simple, simple text-based design. A few of mine just have a few words across the top or in the corner of a shirt. So something like this, very demure, very mindful. If you're on TikTok all the time like I am, you probably know this saying, it's extremely popular right now, kind of fits in with the coquette trend. And you'll notice that I selected this pink color. But what if that is not the color that Printify can print in? Well, you can actually go back and check using this page here. This page is on Printify. You can find it when you're going to the help section about embroidery, but it is the 14 thread colors that you can use and you can grab their hex codes here. So we're only able to print right now in these. So I grabbed this pink number FF9EBE and then coming back over to Kittle, when you're picking a color and you can go to the color box here, you can actually just type in this hex code at the bottom. So you're making sure you're using the exact color that this is going to be printed in. Here's another style of design that I've seen do really well for teachers or nurses, which is doctor or nurse with their custom last name. And then an image representing their profession. So I made this version for a dentist, Dr. Smith. And again, I'm going to go through and make sure that I'm selecting different fonts that have a good thickness to them, as well as images. I got this one right from Kittle Elements. And if you find things are not thick enough, you want them to be thicker just to ensure that your print is going to turn out really well. I always play with the Kittle border. So for this one, I want this to be thicker and I want it to match, I guess, my text a little bit more. And there we go. Now we have a thicker design. You can also also play with the border down here so you can add some room or extra width to your text as well. One reason I love using Kittle for embroidered products is because of what I'm about to show you. I got this martini glass from Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is an online library that you can pay a subscription service for and then you can get tons of print on demand assets like this. If you want to check it out, you can get 10 free downloads in the description below. But see, I have this image here and this is not going to print well with embroidered embroidery at all. But what I can do is come down to the image vectorizer and I can change this image to either be one color, two colors, three colors. And remember we have up to 14 colors, but only certain colors. So I actually don't want to do a lot of colors with this because I'm gonna have to start using yellows and pinks, which I don't really want in this. So I'm actually gonna try just changing this to a one color image. And now I have this beautiful vector image of this exact same martini glass in seconds using the Kittle vectorizer. And then what I love as well is if you picked more than one color, you can change all the colors and you can grab the exact hex codes you plan to use from Printify into here so that you know this is going to print well and color accurately. And don't forget, sometimes this actually looks like it has a lot of really thin elements. So I'm gonna use the border here just to keep making this thicker so I know it's going to print a little bit better. And there we go. Or another way to make these really well is using the Kittle AI. So I typed in espresso martini. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with espresso martinis right now. And if you scroll down, you can go to vector styles and I'm gonna hit vector art and I'm gonna hit generate image. And then you're gonna get a type of image that's gonna work pretty well with embroidery because it's vector, it's only gonna be one color. It's gonna be a simpler design, which again, with embroidery, the simpler the design, the better. And you can keep rolling this until you're happy. I'm pretty happy with this one. I might try a little bit more if this was something I was gonna print, but this is the first result that I got here. Put teeny time and there we go. We just created four different designs that we can use for these embroidered sweatshirts. One thing to keep in mind, with embroidery is unlike DTG, once you place it in Printify, you're not able to scale it up and down. And the recommended file size is 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. You can find this in the design requirements on Printify. So when you're actually creating the design, you're going to pull it all the way to the edge like you would like it to print if you want a big design, if you wanted a small design. But for this, I wanna utilize all of the print space that Printify has available because it's not very big for embroidery. So I've pulled these out to the side and I'm gonna save it as a PNG file with transparent background. And then this is how it's going to show up 
on Printify. Again, I can't resize it, but because I dragged my design all the way to the edges, it fits well within the box here. And if we take a look at the previews, we can see what this is gonna look like when it prints. So using this design preview, you're able to see exactly how big it's going to look. You can look at it compared to a person, how it's gonna look in comparison to the sweatshirt here. And I think this is pretty decent sizing. It's legible, it's a large enough. So I'm pretty happy with this. But what if I don't wanna use these mock-ups? Because Printify mock-ups are extremely limited and going to be extremely competitive. How do you actually make mock-ups for embroidered products? Well, I created a way to, so let me show you how. Using the link in my description and a tool called photop.com, you can actually create your own embroidered products. You just have to open up the file, double click the main file over here, and then you're gonna delete the file that's in here and you're gonna bring in your PNG file through using open and place. And then once it's in here, you're gonna hit command save, or you can go to file and you can do save smart object here. And then when you come back to the embroidery mock-up creator, you're gonna see that this looks embroidered. It looks like more when you're actually using colors, but you can see that there's a bevel to it. It's got kind of the stitching look to it so that it doesn't look like it was just regularly printed. For example, here's how our other design looks with this, with the pink where you can see this a little bit more. It is a bit more complicated if you have more than one color in your design. And I have a full tutorial on how to do that and how to use this file. And I'm gonna link that as a next video that you can go ahead and watch. And then you can bring that new file of the embroidered version of your design into a mock-up. So I'm placing this on a white sweatshirt and you can see it looks a lot more realistic than if you were to just print this DTG and just to put your regular file on top of the sweatshirt here. This one looks a lot more realistic and closer to how it's going to actually print when embroidered. But as a little tip, I do find embroidered products. Sometimes it's worth it to get a sample that you can wear at home and take good photos of so you can stick out and really get people to know how this is going to look like when printed. All right, guys, I hope this helped you understand how to create embroidered files, embroidered mock-ups, so you can start adding value to your designs and sticking out amongst the competition. Let me know if this is something you're gonna be adding to your store in the comments below. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next week.